In this video, I want to take just a couple minutes and talk to you about document management and the FileMaker platform. Now, this video really has two parts. In the first minute or so here, we're going to cover how FileMaker actually has the ability to manage documents. And in the second part of this video, we're going to show you a free document management file that you can download to help track your documents. And it even includes version tracking, which is really cool. And that's a completely free, unlocked starter file that you can start with. So first off, FileMaker makes a great place to manage your digital documents. We're talking about all the contracts that you scan on your computer, all the images that you might capture at a job site, all the Word files or maybe PDF or Excel files that you have to keep track of. FileMaker makes a great tool for doing this. In fact, people come to me all the time and ask me about this. In fact, it happened last week where some people who have never heard of FileMaker really needed to do some digital document management. And I had to show them that, hey, FileMaker does this. It's really good at it. Now, if I start with a blank file, I can show you real quick how documents are stored in FileMaker. It's really powerful. First off, we have a brand new blank file that we've created in FileMaker Pro, Mac or Windows, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to go down to Manage Database. And then when I do that, I'm going to bring up a list of fields. Now, normally fields would be text fields or number fields. Like if you put the name field in here, you would create it. It might be a text field. You might have some mathematical calculations on an invoice, for example. Well, digital documents are easily stored in what we call a container field. And so I'm going to just say document number one. I'm going to make it a container right here. And I'm going to say create. And I'm going to hit OK. Now I can go into layout mode and I can drag that field onto screen right here. And so I can drag on the name if I want. So that might be the name. And then I can drag on a digital document. So this might be our first digital document. So this is a very basic digital document database. I mean, I've created it right here. I can say new record. So I could find a PDF or another document. This happens to be a, a screenshot. And I'm going to drag it in there. And it automatically creates a thumbnail for me. So this is a file that I have right here. I dragged it into there. Say, for example, I delete this file and then someone else logs onto this FileMaker file, they could actually go through the process of exporting this document and saving it to the desktop on my computer here and then opening it. So it allows us to store it within the FileMaker database. So that's at a very basic level what digital document management is in FileMaker. Now, this little database, this little custom application is ready to do digital document management, but it's pretty basic. How about if I give you a completely free file that works really good with digital document management? I'm going to fire this up right here. And here's the file right here. This is a splash screen that tells you about this file. It tells you that the file is completely unlocked and ready to go. And so if I say get started, you can see that I'm already starting to use this digital document management. So up front, I want to say that we actually had some digital documents that we were managing at RCC. And the interface was really ugly. And so I gave this to Nick Hunter, one of our senior engineers, who is a really a UI UX design expert. And he built this out of a UI sample file that he's already created called Energy. And so for those of you who've been around, you've seen that Energy demo. It's really cool. It's 19 bucks. This is actually totally free. It doesn't have all the Energy stuff in it, but it has just enough for us to do digital document management. So on the left side, I can look at the documents that are checklists or policies. I actually set these up. And so what these are like checklists for us, like posting videos on the internet or maybe going through a cloud installation process. These are all internal checklists that we manage at RCC. So over here, you can say that we have a checklist for doing a cloud installation. Installing FileMaker Cloud is not quite as simple as everyone thinks it is. And so we actually have a checklist that we follow for that internally. We have a, a naming convention document here. So if I click right here, I come over here, I can see that there was a previous version right here and actually a PDF right here. And I can click on this one. So here it shows it to us right here. So the documents are stored in here. So I could actually say open and that's it. So this is a hosted solution. This actually shows our naming conventions of how we uh, name things at RCC kind of as a general rule, but it's very handy. So this is part of what you get with our FileMaker Pro 16 video course. Um, but we keep this here. 
In fact, this document right here is actually the Word file for this. If I hit open, it's going to fire this up with Word. And so you can see that this is the original Word file right here. So in this case, this is the current file. So we go over here and you can see it says current. It's the current uh, file. And then this file is actually the current source file. And what we notate is that is a doc file there. That's a PDF. So say if what if I wanted to add another file on here? I wanted to actually uh, export this to the desktop. It's a Word file. And I'm going to say select the desktop, export. And so the file shows up over here. So this is our naming convention. I'm just going to say it's revision uh, 10 is the next one. Now, as you can see, down in the bottom, we have this revision number. We haven't, we just started using this new file. So I would update this to nine. I would come over here and so I'll say this is nine. So this is nine, the PDF, and this is nine, the Word document. So we actually keep both of them in here. And then uh, say I have version 10 over here. Say I come up with some new stuff. I want to add a new version. So I'd say add revision. And I'm going to come over here and just drag and drop it on there. It actually saves it up with the FileMaker database. There's version 10. I'm going to go ahead and put the 10 right here because, you know, the there's no artificial intelligence to read through the file name to come up with that uh, number right there. The days of artificial intelligence are coming, but not just yet. I can also take text out of it. Like if I wanted to open up the text in the file and maybe grab the opening paragraph or the maybe the opening section here entirely, copy all that close it, I could come up here and just paste it in here. So the idea is that this is kind of the initial, you know, this is the text if you want to have some text that goes along with this. So what we have is this is the new version right here. I can say this is the current one here, actually the current source here. And then this one right here uh, would no longer be uh, the current version, it'd be out of date. And so you can add to this solution. It's a free solution. If you think that you want to put more logic on it to where it actually will change things out entirely for you, like I can come here and now I see Rev 10. I could also put the Rev 10 as a PDF in there, right? So technically to make a complete set, I'd be in Word. I would say print. I would say at the bottom here, I'd say save as PDF. I would say it's Rev 10. And I always put the extension in just to help keep life as simple as possible. I'm going to bring it down here. So here's my Rev 10 PDF. I'd create another revision right here. I would say it's Rev 10. And I would drag it on here. And after a short delay, because it's actually taking the file and encrypting it and uploading it to our FileMaker server, I would say this is the current file here. And then, then once again, uh, this one here is out of date. And so you could script it so where if you put a new current one in, it takes the other ones and pushes them out of date. You could totally do that. Once again, the logic there is a little bit more than what I wanted to put in the application, but you get how this works. This is extremely simple, extremely cool. Over here, if I move this back over, so once again, these are actually just different found sets in all the documents. We have a policies document, which talks about uh, how we and why we do things. We also have a checklist set of documents here. And we're just starting to use this internally. So we have some data to put in on our end. And then also you can narrow it down by saying that certain documents are with engineering. Certain documents have to do with the sales processes, et cetera. Like I can go over here and click on this. And then I can see that there's an out of date one and then an up to date. And if I want to look at it in detail, I simply say open. And this shows some processes that go on in terms of us managing maintenance releases in terms of FM starting point and other things like that. And so here we were talking about updating with cards and stuff. And this had to do back in May when the new version of FileMaker shipped out. So you get a very powerful solution here. Very, very powerful. And guess what? It's totally free. So if you want to check this out, take it apart, open it up, play with it. Um, it's yours. Just visit the link down in the comment section here of the video and uh, download your own free copy. So this is Richard Carlton with another great free sample file for the FileMaker platform that completely revolves around digital document management. And I'll catch you in the next video.